Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new around here my name is Georgia and I'm a makeup lover from Edinburgh in Scotland. I just want to start off this video by saying happy new year everyone it is now 2020 and I am so excited for this year. For this video I'm actually going to be going back into 2019 and I'm recapping on my favourite makeup items from last year. If you're interested in seeing what my 2019 favourites are just keep on watching. So I'm going to start off with my base products. I actually have them all here in this little makeup bag and my favourite primer of 2019, it has to be this one here. It's the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Primer. Let's see if I can kind of zoom in here. The Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Primer, it has to be my favourite. I got this in the summer and I've been using it ever since. This is the same bottle by the way, I do not know how it's not run out. But this just makes, really luminises your base, it just makes you look so glowy. I don't know what it is. I also find that like my makeup lasts a long time. When I've been using this, my makeup lasts a lot longer than what I think it used to. So yeah, this is quite a pricey product. It is £28, but I love it so much. It just makes your makeup look amazing and last a while and that's what you want in a primer. It's my favourite of 2019. So for foundation, this is a no-brainer. I am trying to find it. So my foundation favourites of 2019 have to be the two from Revolution, the Conceal and Define and the, Con the new Conceal and Hydrate. I've been using the Conceal and Define for over a year since it's actually been released and it was my favourite. I loved it so much and then this bad boy came along and I fell in love even more with this one than this one. I actually use this all the time. I barely ever use this one, although I am wearing it today. But the Conceal and Hydrate is my favourite. It's a lot, like the Conceal and Define is very matte. This adds a lot more glow and like kind of just makes your skin look really, really nice and healthy. But it's got really good coverage. As I say, it's got the same coverage as this, but it just has a lot more dewiness to it. And for me, it lasts perfect on my skin. I know on some people it can be a bit harder, it runs off a bit more, but no, it lasts really well on my skin and it's my favourite, favourite, favourite foundation ever. So yeah, I just dropped it. I use the shades F2 in both of these. I used to use F1 in this, but I changed to F2 and it's perfect match for me. But if you're more oily, Conceal and Define is probably the best one for you. If you're normal to dry, I would say this one but I now use this one more than this one but they are both my favourites of 2019. Then for concealer, I would include the Conceal and Hydrate but I do, don't like it as much as these two. My favourites are the Conceal and Define which is a no brainer, I've been using this ever since it came out which has been coming up actually two years now. No, two, yeah two years. So yeah this is my favourite concealer I use this under my eyes all the time it's amazing I use this shade C2 but this one has now been creeping in I've only been using it for a couple of months but I have to include it in my favourites because I now love it it's the Too Faced Born This Way this is a little mini Too Faced Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer they are just both amazing and I love both of them so much I use De this one definitely all over my face and under my eyes and same with this one but I mostly just use this one under my eyes because it is really full coverage it looks really great but yeah this is the shade snow c2 they are just so full coverage it literally just conceals my under eyes I do have quite crazy under eyes as it is but both of these don't really crease that bad when I powder them down but these two are definitely my favourites out of 2019. Also, if you're wondering if I prefer the Conceal and Define over the Conceal and Hydrate, or which one do I prefer, I prefer the Conceal and Define. It's just so much better. I find the Conceal and Hydrate really creases under my eyes and like it's a no-go for me. So the Conceal and Define and now the Born This Way, Too Faced Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer. And I don't have any powder favourites of 2019. I, I don't really like, powder is one of those ones for me that I just use it, I don't really have a favourite, doesn't really bother me that much, but now on to bronzer. This was in my favourites for 2018, it's actually a blog post over my blog which is linked down below. It is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I can't even like say that I actually use any other bronzer, I use this all the time. I think this is my third, third one now because I've actually used it so much. But yeah, this is, this is a light one. 
as well. They do have the normal one and then I think they have the darker one, but I just use the lighter one. This bronzer is just amazing. It looks stunning on the skin. It's not, it's like a mixture between, like, it's not orange, but it's not cool toned. I use it for everything and also, it just smells like holidays and I think that's the best bit about it. Mine's, like, mine's is actually broken, like the little clip on the top is broken because I think I dropped it on holiday, but yeah, I love this so much. The shade is just perfect for me considering I am quite pale, but also I used this in the summer as well when I was quite tanned and it still looked perfectly fine. But yeah, and this is now available in Boots, which is great. They have a stand in my local Boots and I was so happy when I seen this. So this is my bronzer favourite of 2019. So my blusher favourite of 2019, because before I actually get into the product, I love blush now. I've been using it probably more towards the like summer to now, but it's been my favourite thing. I actually love using it so much. I don't actually have it on today for some reason, I just did a little quick glam. But my favourite blusher, I actually have two favourite blushers. So the first one is this one, this is the Burt's Bees blush in, in the shade Bare Peach. I don't actually know if you can get this over here in the UK, I got it when I was in New York last year and this shade is, it is just a stunning peach shade, it is, it is stunning on the cheeks. It looks amazing and I find that this is pigmented but you can kind of like if you tap off a lot of product it looks fine and then my other blush favorite is this one by Anastasia Beverly Hills I've had this for a while but I just it was in the back of my drawer I didn't use it and then I brought it to the front and now I use it all the time it's the peachy love blush trio this honestly I I use every color individually but no mixing so literally just going in with a brush dabbing in all the shades and then putting it on your cheeks. The shade is beautiful. It just looks amazing and it just makes you look really nice and healthy. Like you've got a nice rosy glow to your cheek. This is the only one I have tried. I know they have a few other like shades in this blush trio but this one is my favourite. Peachy Love Blush Trio by Anastasia and then Burt's Bees Bare Peach Blush. You can see I like peach blushes. I don't actually, I think peach blushes are the ones that I actually own the most of. They're just my favourite. So my highlighter favourites I I hate this but they're actually all like highlighters that you could no longer get. I've had, it's really weird because one of them was available in the summer and now it's no longer available so I'm a bit confused but the first one is the another Anastasia product, Anastasia Beverly Hills So Hollywood Highlighter. This highlighter is beautiful, it honestly is just the most stunning gold shade. It's actually what I've got on my cheeks right now, I will, it's what I actually have on my cheeks at the minute and it's my favourite highlighter I think of probably all the time but I kind of have to chop and change between using this just because Anastasia no longer actually sell this don't know why they just stopped doing it I got it on Black Friday maybe two years ago I'm not gonna say anything this is just my favourite highlighter I've actually got a few of the like people on Depop are selling these and I've actually got like a couple lights because I'm like I need a backup I need backup and then the next one is a one I got in the summer and I wore this all the time when I was on holiday in Barcelona it is so it is the Colourpop Becky G loose highlighter in Chisme I, I think that's how you say it but it's honestly just the most stunning goldy colour you probably I don't want to tip it out but it's just a stunning stunning shade and they don't seem to do it anymore and I really don't know why so if Colourpop I don't think Colourpop will see this but I think I might need to get in contact with Colourpop to be like, you need to bring this back because it is stunning. Um, I'll try and swatch it, like if you see it on my finger there how blinding that is. But it is honestly just the nicest, it's the nicest gold shade ever. It's actually surprisingly not too dark for me, which same with this one, it's not. they're not actually too dark for me, which I'm quite surprised, especially with me being quite pale. But these are my favourite and I'm really sad that they're actually like no longer available. But hopefully, if you probably do some digging, you'll be able to find them online somewhere. But these are my highlighter favourites of 2019. So now I'm moving on to eye products. I have to mention this because this has changed my makeup game. It is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer. This is, this is just amazing. I used Peely's base and I, I liked it, but it wasn't really my favourite. This came out in June 
I think when it came out with the Alyssa Edwards release. I got a mini size and fell in love with it. I actually still have the mini size and it's not finished. I don't know how, but I then decided to get a full size. This is pricey. This is £26, but I've had this for a while and it does last a very long time because you don't need to use a lot of it, but this just makes your eyeshadows pop. It's the eye primer I use in every single one of my makeup looks that I post on Instagram. Like my Instagram's down below, you can see all my looks, but this is the eye primer I use. It's just amazing, but this is honestly my favourite. The one thing I would say, I didn't have this problem with the mini, but I have with the full size. If you hold it like this, the product actually drips out of it, so you're better keeping it upright in a drawer like this, so that the product stays intact, because it does kind of like start pouring out of the top. But this eye primer is honestly... If anything, if I'm going to recommend anything for the eyes out of this video, it is this, because if you want to up, up your eyeshadow game, this is the product you need. So on to, I'm going to actually do my mascara favourite first before I go on to my palettes because I have quite a few palettes. I wouldn't say throughout the start of 2019 I had a mascara favourite and this is going to sound so cliche because every, every YouTuber, every influencer raves about this. It is a Maybelline Lush Sensational Mascara. Now, I did not think I needed this. I put off buying it because I was like, no, no, no. All the influencers rave about it. I'm not falling for it. I needed a new mascara, so I bought it. And it is really, really, really good. I love it. Um, it's a really good mascara. It works so well at just getting your lashes. This is a wand. It works just, it just really makes your lashes nice and long and fluttery. But also, like, it does give them the volume as well, which is amazing. I used this on holiday in Barcelona because I didn't take any false lashes because I had a lash lift. And this, with a lash lift, it makes your lashes look like you have faulty on. It is insane. But yeah, I'm not going to ramble on about this too much. But Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara is my favourite. So now, on to eyeshadow palettes. This was really hard to decide because I have used a lot of eyeshadows this year. I have so many new palettes this year. I bought so many. I bought I bought the Alyssa Edwards palette with Anastasia. I bought the Jeffree Star Blue Blood and the Conspiracy palette. I bought just recently just bought the Norvina Pro palettes volume one and three. I bought a lot of new makeup and um it was really hard to try and pick which eyeshadows I used the most but I kind of went back on my Instagram and figured it out. So the first palette it's probably a no-brainer as well because this is one of the ones that I take traveling with me a lot. It's the Soph Extra Spice palette. I've had this and I've traveled with this so much. It's just one of the most versatile palettes ever. This is what it looks like. It's just honestly one of the most versatile palettes there is. It's just honestly one of the best palettes I own. I love it because you have the kind of neutrally shades like you have the neutrals but then you do have your your bright colors and you've got your shimmers and stuff which is why i love it as a traveling palette because you kind of get everything involved with it so this palette is definitely i don't know even though i nearly dropped it i think this might have been in my 2018 favorites but i'm not 100 percent but definitely so fix just a nice palette and then another palette this is quite not new i've had it for four or five months but i use all the time if i'm going for such an easy soft glam look it's the beauty bay eyn nudes palette this is the nine pan palette so it just looks like this it's full of your neutrals i took this with me to birmingham and i honestly think that any trip i'm going on that i just want a nice natural makeup look this is the palette i'm going to go for it's stunning so you have like this shade here which is like my go-to one it's just, it's the shade cinnamon then you've got your darker brown you've also got a black the only shade in this palette that i wouldn't use is this one here but all the other ones i would use so much and it's a really great palette as well these go on sale quite a lot i bought this for like three pounds when it was like 30 percent off or something like that but this palette is a really really good one if you need like a neutrals palette to travel with it isn't big isn't bulky it also comes with a mirror as well which is great because i know that's what a lot of people want beauty bay eyn nine nudes palette is definitely a hit for me so now i'm moving into the bright palettes and these are the ones definitely my forte it's the palettes that i use all the time on my instagram i do a lot of bright colorful looks and the first palette is this one it's the stacy marie be perfect carnival palette i really want the xl and i'm planning on buying it soon i actually have a 30 pound beauty Bay gift voucher that to use and i'm going to put it towards the xl but this is what the nor the original looks like this honestly is such a stunning palette it does come with the two highlighters i don't use them very often but all these shades 
are stunning they are so pigmented so easy to blend and i just love that there is the rainbow shades in here and you've got enough shades to be able to make a look using all the bright colors i love this palette so much it is quite bulky like it is quite thick but i love this palette I, i've used it a lot definitely towards the latter half of 2019 but this palette it is definitely one of my favorites and then the final palette i'm going to talk about i have used this in so many looks last year and on my instagram i've used it so many times it is definitely one of the best investments that i've made ever and it is this one here it's another beauty palette it's the eyn bright matte palette this is a 42 matte palette this is what it looks like here it is huge so this is big but you get like 42 eyeshadows in it so you don't really care it literally has every single color in it so you have like your neutrals along the top and then you've got your pinks your reds and oranges your yellows and greens your kind of weenie blues here and then your blues and then you've got your purples and you can create anything with this palette like if you're looking for a bright colorful palette this is the one to go for it's only 23 pounds it is one of the best palettes i think i own it's the one that i reach for definitely the most when it comes to doing my bright colorful look and for it being 23 pounds it is a really really good steal I, I really recommend this palette here and it's probably the top eyeshadow favorite of 2019 so i'm uh, sorry if i look a little bit different lighting wise i've just been mucking about with my settings but the, the final category i'm going to move on to is lip this is quite a hard one because i chop and change my lip products quite a lot i've only really got three but i do have, i know i have a lot more i just want to talk about three so the first one is this it's the jeffree star liquid lipstick in mannequin this lipstick is just it's probably my favourite lipstick ever. I use this all the time. It's my go-to one. I pick it up all the time if I'm going out. It's just the perfect nude. It's honestly stunning. I'll kind of like zoom in a little bit and dim down the light so you can kind of see the colour. But yeah, it's the perfect nude shade. I'll kind of swatch it as well just so you can kind of get a feel for it because I know the lighting sometimes isn't the best when it comes to it. But yeah, this is the shade here. It is the perfect nude shade. It's honestly, it's the perfect nude shade. It's my favourite lipstick ever. The formula of this is amazing. It lasts while you eat, lasts while you drink, just lasts a long time. Um, but yeah, the actual smell of the liquid lipstick is really, really nice. And the shade is stunning. It's just a really nice nude. And it's just my favourite lipstick ever. And then the final two products are glosses. But I've got like three of my favourites. So I have this one from Colourpop. This is their Soul Juicy Lip Gloss in the shade Feels Like Summer. I used this all in the summer and it is honestly stunning. I might put this one on as well. I use a lot of glosses on top of lipsticks as well as on their own. But honestly stunning. Smells amazing. It kind of has like that tingly feeling as well. But this is lip gloss of my summer like i used this the whole summer it is stunning it's just like a nice nudie color as well it's got like kind of don't know if you can kind of see it from the packaging let me just you can kind of see it kind of has some like slight shimmers in it but yeah it kind of just has some slight shimmers in it it's a really really pretty gloss and the other two are mattes so these are the it's the peaches and cream glosses i did not know i needed these until i bought them they are stunning again they smell amazing they smell like something in particular but i don't know what this is the shade bambi and then this one is the shade dream on um this one is more of a nude and then this one's more of a peachy nude but both are stunning i worn these so much recently um i know this was out of stock on the website recently so i'm gonna hopefully try and pick up another one but peaches and cream glosses are honestly they are amazing i love them so so much out of all the lip products i would recommend every single one of these if you especially as well if you're looking for lipsticks jeffree star ones top of my list so that is the end of this video i hope you really enjoyed i hope you liked looking back on my 2019 favorites with me i have included a lot more products but i had to narrow it down somehow if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below also hit the notification bell if you're interested in being notified on when i upload so i really hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in my next one bye